we have long known that the gut affects the brain. But this field of science is charging fast. There is a strong case for probiotic supplements being able to heavily influence neurotransmitter profile, mood, and well-being. So let's get into it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ryan, and this is the Thunder Channel. On nootropics, on testosterone, on feeling, performing, functioning awesomely, I'm your host, Ryan Michael Ballow. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to get notified of all the content. Get the YouTube app because it'll notify you in real time. A couple products support this broadcast. I'll explain them later, but super quickly. The Cortex Nootropic Stack. You can get that in the description. And secondarily, the Torque Stack. And by the way, Torque is BOGO. Buy one, get one free. Coupon code is TORQUEBOGO. And lastly, I'm a consultant on biohacking and nootropics. If you want to hire me, you can do that in under a minute at livecortex.com. All right, friends, I got an important one today, and I want to talk about how probiotics are nootropics. They're like, off the bat, no probiotics technically aren't nootropics because we classify nootropics in a very particular way. And that's good. We don't want to muddy the waters. However, probiotics absolutely have the ability to help you synthesize more neurotransmitters kind of in a way that nootropics do. So they act as like nootropic mimetics. But importantly, like some probiotics, Probiotic strains have the ability to regulate your mood. You know that in a paper titled, May the Force Be With You, The Light and Dark Sides of the Microbiota, Gut Brain Access in Neuropsychiatry. May the Force Be With You. These scientists are silly. It notes, dysregulation in the composition of the gut microbiota has been identified in several neuropsychiatric disorders such as autism, schizophrenia, and depression. Depression. Now, a lot of you guys know this, but the gut communicates directly with the brain, uh, for neurotransmitter synthesis in one direct pathway, and that is through the vagus nerve. So this communication, I, like a lot of your neurotransmitters are actually synthesized in the gut first, and then they travel to your brain. Very important point. I want to bring you to, uh, well, it's the same paper that states that through these routes of communication, the microbiota gut brain access controls central physiological process such as neurotransmission, neurogenesis, neuroinflammation, and neuroendocrine signaling. But importantly, okay, major point, Pay attention. Dysregulation of the gut microbiota subsequently leads to alterations in all of these central processes. So what does that mean? Yeah, probiotics can help you get a better mood, but ultimately the dysregulation of the gut microbiota alters neurotransmission, neurogenesis, neuroinflammation, and neuroendocrine signaling. By the way, we are just in the beginning. We've been studying this and people have known it and I get biohackers are really into this sort of stuff. This is very preliminary. In 50 years, we will have major solutions for MDD and other depressive disorders just by altering gut bacteria. Carbohydrate fermenting bacteria in your gut secrete a short chain fatty acid called butyrate, which literally stimulates 5-HT synthesis. This is serotonin stimulating from the gut. And to get detailed about some of the species, like a lot of the run-of-the-mill probiotics contain lactobacillus, acidophilus, and some other lactobacillus species, but also bifidobacterium. That's an important one we're going to focus on right here. And I'll bring you to a paper titled Carbohydrate Metabolism and Bifidobacteria. It states, different bifidobacterial strains may possess different carbohydrate utilizing abilities as established by a number of studies reviewed here. Bifidobacterium are carbohydrate digesting and carbohydrate fermenting bacteria. Those are the bacteria that facilitate serotonin synthesis. And consuming bifidobacteria, I mean, I'll get to some species in a second, probiotics will help you synthesize more serotonin, which is going to help your mood. But also an important thing to note is that bifidobacteria harbor the enzymatic machinery to generate the neurotransmitter GABA. So they literally actually have the ability to generate GABA in the gut, send it through the vagus nerve, enter the brain and affect brain chemistry. So yeah, the bifido species in your run of the mill probiotic that you get can help you to synthesize more serotonin and more GABA, thus positively impacting your mood and pretty much being like a nootropic. So, but back to serotonin, this is a, a clear cut example of how probiotics can regulate your mood and act as nootropics. One of the papers that I cited also states, treatment of bifidobacterium infantis upregulated mRNA expression of TPH1, now that's a tryptophan related kind of gene. TPH1 converts to TRP, which is just tryptophan. Now here's the really important thing of this study that's so fucking fascinating. Bifidobacterium infantis fed mice displayed reduced 
depressive-like behaviors, along with an increase in TRP, tryptophan, biosynthesis, and hippocampal 5-HT and 5-HTP levels. But here's something interesting. One paper cites that the reason the extra 5-HTP synthesis is happening, they go like this, the elevated plasma TRP levels from B. infantis intake is most likely the result of reduced pro-inflammatory cytokines. Is that ringing a bell for anyone? Like, you know, listening to a lot of the stuff that I've put out, I have talked about this before, that pro-inflammatory cytokines literally disrupt brain neurotransmitter synthesis. So if you have some sort of inflammatory condition, response to some food that you're eating, yeah, chances are it's fucking with your mood because it's preventing the synthesis of neurotransmitters via pro-inflammatory cytokines entering your brain. But look, I've worked with, like, I don't typically do this. I obviously work with nootropics and testosterone and energy and whatever, but, you know, I've had clients that have had long COVID, which is something that, you know, from my experience, you don't want to get and are like one of their, you know, main side effects is they're completely depressed. And now once we turn down the inflammation, because like, again, neurotransmitters, nootropics, testosterone is what I'm usually working with. But if there are things wrong, I've got to kind of tend to them. We reduce the amount of circulating cytokines. All of a sudden their mood dramatically improves. And probiotics are one way that we achieve that outcome. So just to give you another like actionable takeaway, everything that I just said, you can go and execute by buying a regular run of the mill probiotic supplement that has bifidobacteria in it and specifically bifidobacterio infantis. But I want to cut like, so out of the science stuff, I want to cut right to people's experiences to try to hammer this point home. In a Reddit thread titled, my experience and story with probiotics, cure anxiety, brain fog, and depression. The user goes on to say, so I'm going to report my experience with a probiotic blend. People from the sub nootropics, don't seem to believe it, and they say it's placebo. Oh, I can't help but laugh at that. But I say definitely not. In 2017, I had a series of events that led me to have brain fog that lasted for years. I tried all kinds of supplements and diets and techniques to cure it. LOL at the fucking very skeptical nootropics community. Citizen scientists we are. He goes on. To say, I recently bought this blend to have better intestinal health and the bacteria to be able to better absorb the nutrients from supplements I was using. Nothing very hopeful about that. I bought it just to test it. And in my surprise, I had it had an effect. He goes, very unexpected. Just the first week taking it every day. I had my best week that I've had in years. Felt young again, no brain fog, calm, no anxiety with an absurd mental clarity. He goes, it was fantastic. He continues, I did several tests, stopping all the supplements, and the only thing that indicated was the blend of probiotics. Soon after I fell on top of studies about good bacteria, I found that there were strains within the blend that produced serotonin and GABA. Another user posts in response to that dude's post. He goes, hi, this looks like the exact same case from me. He goes on to say that it contains streptococcus and lactobacilli species. I was prescribed by a doctor for my stomach upset. After taking them for a week, I had a sudden good feeling of mood, clarity, gut balance, confidence, and my digestive system improved. Then he goes on to say the effect continued for more than four weeks, which I never experienced being so grounded and controlled on my nerves. Last really critical part, he goes, I was able to perform well in groups socially in a few corporate meetings without much anxiety. Like pretty fucking clear case that this is helping and produce more GABA, I would say. Right, reduction in anxiety, better mood, better mental clarity, uh, the reduction of anxiety around social context. Like, yeah, that's GABA inhibiting the firing of all those other neurotransmitters that would otherwise make you anxious. Very important. Now look, I want to circle back to an important point. And that point is, yes, probiotics are helping you synthesize more serotonin. Yes, probiotics are helping you to synthesize more GABA. And the research is pretty clear on tell, you know, telling us why this is happening. It's because it's reducing pro-inflammatory cytokines and helping you to synthesize more neurotransmitters thus. And lastly, yeah, I do take probiotics. I take them at night and they do noticeably impact my mood when I take them, which is actually a perfect segue into the elephant in the room, which is will probiotics consistently give me these results? So I think a lot of people are like, oh, wow, this, this may be awesome for me and my mood disorder is like, well, is, is it sustainable? Like take, you know, can I, can I continue replicating this effect? The answer is as long as you're taking them, yes. And that's because most probiotics are transient. They don't colonize the large bowel. They don't uh, populate and replicate. You know, they may interact with some um, gram negative species or gram positive species, who knows, but they largely end up in your sewage system. 
And people will like start taking probiotics. They start synthesizing more neurotransmitters. They feel cured of their depression or like alleviated from some of those symptoms. And then they maybe stop taking their probiotics and realize the depression is back. And that's because again, they're not colonizing. They're moving through your intestines. They're going out in waste. They're ending up in the sewage system. And then you, you're left with not synthesizing as much neurotransmitters, not reducing as much of that pro-inflammatory cytokine load. And then you're kind of back to square one. The solution to that issue is what you may imagine. And that is to pretty much consistently take probiotics. Look, I mean, dude, if, if you've got a mood disorder and it's really bothering you and it's inhibiting your quality of life, which most mood disorders do, you kind of have nothing to lose. Well, I get for some people that may have otherwise gut issues that probiotics not may not interact well. And there's probably some other things that you can do to make probiotics interact well, but Taking certain probiotics and bifidobacteria infantis and other bifido species, as well as lactobacilli acidophilus and other lactobacilli species pretty consistently should help a lot of people regulate their mood, have generally like better, more joy in their lives, less anhedonia. And there's a lot of Reddit anecdotes to back that up. But ultimately, the best way to do this is to take them consistently. And what I've come to learn, just so folks understand, because I try to research this and understand, you know, the, the best way to get the probiotics in, considering food that you're eating, stomach acid and otherwise, is to take them after you've eaten at nighttime. Because then in the middle of the night, when your digestion is a lot less active, therein lies the opportunity, at least, for some of those bacteria to do some of their really, really positive stuff, but importantly, synthesizing neurotransmitters. So honestly, if you're skeptical, try it. Like if you have a mood disorder, anxiety, et cetera, you're not really feeling good, you don't get joy out of things, try taking some probiotics. Look, it's good to be skeptical, but I can almost guarantee you that a lot of people's issues are going to budge merely using probiotics. And that, my friends, and everything synthesized in this video is why I believe probiotics are nootropic mimetics. They're sort of in a class of their own, but they absolutely can affect brain chemistry, which is what we're trying to do with all the stuff we usually talk about. Hope that's been useful. Thank you so much for listening. As I said in the beginning, a couple products support this broadcast and they're epic nootropic products. Number one, the Cortex stack. Look, motivation, mental energy, verbal fluency, as well as that dopamine feeling of like getting things done. Like, don't you want that? That's what Cortex delivers. You can buy a bottle at livecortex.com. Secondarily, yes, the Torque is on a BOGO. This is the first buy one, get one free that we've run on the Torque stack. This is a very clean stimulant nootropic stack that usually provides between six to eight hours of energy. Um, you can buy one and you'll literally get one bottle for free. If you use the coupon code TORQUE, BOGO, livecortex.com. Just add a bottle to your cart at checkout where it says enter coupon code, enter Torque BOGO, hit apply, and boom. You'll literally see two bottles of Torque, but you will only pay for one. BOGO on the Torque stack, literally right now. Will end soon. Can't emphasize enough. All right, take advantage of that, livecortex.com. Again, all the links to all of our products are in the description of this video. Lastly, I'm a biohacking consultant. I've worked with everyone from pro athletes to doctors to actors to business people to everyone in between, fixing testosterone, neurochemistry, helping people to formulate nootropic stacks and lots of other things mainly related to performance and resolving issues. And you can hire me in under a minute at livecortex.com. Appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to this and look at all these studies and, and do some pondering. I really want you to think about it. A lot of you people with mood disorders, a good bit of you will get at least some alleviation fussing with probiotics. You know, they're not a multi, super multi-billion dollar industry for nothing. They are effective. All right, I'm out of here. Later. Later.